everybody doing? Hope your day is going okay. Smash that like. Just like Mike. So on this one, man, I'm going to bring to you a real fast video put together. Um, something I just found. You know, I just did a post where there's a guy in uh, Alabama did some treacherous things. 12-year-old girl chewed her way out of a uh, rope. And what happened there was I said, in jail, where he's going to go, he'll be instantly dealt with. If you haven't checked that video out, check it out. But I almost talked this next story up. So what we have here is a man who decides to rob grandma at the ATM. He snags about 500 from her. Get your local Ford dealer. Feel the freedom of the Ford SUV or truck. So let's get into it. doesn't see this man as he approaches the kiosk. It's the summer sales event at your local... Once inside, the man looks over at Mary. He appears to be waiting. Waiting until that cash is ejected from the ATM into her hand. Then he pounces. The suspect wrestles the $500 out of Mary's hands and starts to pull away. Shout out to Mary. Uh, Grandma is 81 and she's not letting that SSI check or whatever it is go. She struggles with this dude. She's yelling at him. She won't give it up. Um, I don't recommend anybody do that. If you're getting robbed, I mean, look, to each his own. But especially an elderly woman, uh, hey, look, I guess I can't tell people what to do. But, I mean, he could, who knows how desperate this dude would have been. He's got to be desperate, a scumbag to steal from the 81-year-old woman. Um, so let's get back to it. Mary holds on tight, keeping the suspect busy long enough for the camera to get a profile shot of him. But her success comes at a cost. The robber breaks free from the octogenarian's arm lock, and Mary is thrown violently to the ground, suffering cracked ribs and bruises. Thankfully, Mary Rivas will recover from her injuries. 35-year-old Terrence Rocks was arrested less than 24 hours after police released this video. He was charged with robbery. It was worth it to see that um, I caught the fella, that he couldn't do it to somebody else. Terrence Rocks was sentenced to three years probation. He also served 18 days in jail, four of those days in the jail hospital because other inmates beat him up after hearing about his crime. Maybe at this stage in his life, he might be able to still be straightened out before he gets to be out. So there you have it, man. Uh, some instant justice. The only thing I didn't see on this video was what state that was in. Um, I can't tell. Three years for robbing an elderly lady. Uh, I, I, I don't know if that was here in Florida or where that was. It could have been anywhere. Um, I just randomly saw the scroll down the internet. But if you noticed, uh, the guy did a few days. And so what happened here is he robbed grandma, 500. There was a struggle. I guess because he couldn't break away from grandma fast enough or he started getting scared. He, he chucks grandma to the floor. She got injuries and what have you. Uh, less than one day later, they nab him up. They book him, book him Dano. And, uh, he sits in jail basically to his first court appearance and takes the uh, three years paper. While he's sitting in jail waiting for his three years paper, um, this comes on the news because inmates have news in there. Uh, they watch it every night, matter of fact. And uh, they see this dude, they see grandma getting ruffled around and they just ain't having it. They jump on his ass and they put him in, they put him in medical. Putting somebody in medical in jail is, is the equivalent to knocking somebody out and sending them to the hospital. 
exactly what they did and well deserved. Uh, tip my hat to each one of those inmates and salute to all you good sirs, because uh, that's what should have happened to this scumbag. Um, it's just, uh, I talked this one up, people. This is uh, what I was saying when I, when I made that uh, message to the family of that 12-year-old girl. You know, um, these things happen. People think jail and prison. Um, I don't know what people think of the two words there. Uh, yes, it's where the worst of the worst go. Yes, it's a society within a society. And yes, evil things happen inside there. Yes, it's the land of bullies and uh, testosterone. And there are a lot of things uh, happen inside these two places that uh, are unspoken, to say the least. Um, but one thing about these two places um, is they have accountability. Um, you have to say what you mean and mean what you say, and uh, anything that you do say, you're subject for immediate karma and immediate beatdown, uh, and also your actions. What you do is instantly, instantly judged by your peers, and uh, depending on the approval of that is your outcome, and that's exactly what happened to this man. Um, Hey, look, if only some of the, uh, this is going to sound as backwards as possible, but if only some of the legislators out here started acting like prison yards, we'd be all right. But hey, man, grandma is, uh, grandma got her justice. I think she even forgave him at the end of that. Um, this dude, instantly punished. I like it. It's convenient. It happened right at the time of the post. Smash that like. Shout out to my man, Mike. He always pushes that thing all day long. That's what he does. And hey, man, uh, until the next one. It's White Boy Radio on Twitter, Twitch, IG, Getter. I got the Tumblr post. Check it out. It's at White Boy Radio everywhere. If you could stand it, please hit the join button below and uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Catch y'all in the next one.